Well, it used to be that in the treatment of brain aneurysms, as an example, uh, this, was a, this was a maximally invasive procedure involving a large skin incision, removing a disc of bone from the skull, and a several hour procedure, as, as well as a long recovery. It's brain surgery. Now, with the treatment of aneurysms, I can treat the most complex aneurysm in a matter of hours, and the patient goes home the next day. So and this is all done through a puncture in the groin or in the wrist. If you were to ask me how I'd have an aneurysm treated, I'd have it treated endovascularly. Um, you just can't, you just can't beat going in one day, having a, a small puncture in your groin, finding out that your aneurysm is treated and leaving with a band-aid. So the techniques that I use can quickly open up blood vessels and get blood back to the brain in a very fast fashion and in a way that can lead to patients having a good recovery from their stroke. Um, some of the devices that I use to do these procedures are literally coming to market uh, now. What's really exciting is that CAMC now, we're using advanced imaging, the latest um, advanced imaging to help triage patients that would appropriately respond uh, to my interventions for stroke. I think some of, some of the biggest advances have been in the technologies used to treat brain aneurysms, uh, particularly with flow diverting stents. These are stents similar to what we might place in the heart, but these are placed within the brain and are used to divert flow from brain aneurysms, thus helping them heal themselves. Um, some of the other advances are in the types of stents that I use to remove clots, stents that I use to um, uh, uh, treat brain aneurysms, um, a whole, uh, a whole uh, barrage of various aspiration catheters uh, that are highly engineered and allow me to go further and further out into the brain to uh, retrieve clots from blocked vessels. Um, you just can't beat these uh, these minimally invasive uh, approaches to treating problems like stroke and brain aneurysm. To provide this service here in Charleston at Charleston Area Medical Center where patients can quickly receive the most advanced treatments uh, for stroke and brain aneurysms and brain arteriovenous malformations. So you can't argue against that to have that so close to home.